All right, everybody. Welcome to the start of our show. Now, our first guest is an author, and he wrote this book. It's called Fat Boy, Thin Man. Please welcome Michael Prager. Yeah. Welcome, Michael. Well, so you've written this book, Fat Boy, Thin Man, and it actually is based on your experiences growing up because you were obese. I was. I was a fat kid from a pretty young age, and I got to be, uh, I was 300 pounds before I was a senior in high school, mm. and I was over 300 until the, my mid-30s. Uh, and uh, on October 21st, 1991, I weighed 365 pounds. Wow. And the reason I remember it so clearly is that's the day I entered a eating disorders unit of a psych psychiatric hospital to, uh, to get help, mm -hmm. and uh, it worked. Wow. It's still working, I you should look, say. You're looking very thin now. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Now, we had talked downstairs that this is a problem. Here in the United States, it's a huge problem. It, well, it, you know, I, I mentioned the term to you, globesity. Mm -hmm. We're exporting our Western diet and our Western ways all over the world, and it's becoming uh, a problem. I heard there was a minister, a government minister in China, who said that uh, uh, overnutrition was becoming as much of a problem in China as undernutrition. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's uh, all over the world. But in the, in the U.S., it's... Uh, Right now, according to government statistics, two out of every three American adults and one out of every three American children are considered obese or overweight. Mm -hmm. Now, you've obviously been a part of the statistic and you've come out of it. Yeah. Now, what's happening to these people? Is this something mental? What's going on here? Well, uh, it, it is an enormously complex thing. Mm -hmm. And so whenever anyone tries to say the one thing that's wrong, they're wrong mm -hmm. because it's not one thing. Some people have bad habits. Some people have trauma in their lives that they're eating over. Some people have a, a biochemical sensitivity, and I believe I'm one of them. I mm -hmm. believe I'm a food addict. I believe that foods react in my body differently than they would in some other people's body. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have a skepticism around that, but if you think of uh, uh, any time anybody has a problem understanding, I say, well, just think of an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Two people can go out to a bar, one ends up in the gutter, and one goes home and goes to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the same substance can affect different people in different ways. Mm -hmm. And when I, uh, there is a very well documented in science, uh, the phenomenon of craving, uh, where uh, some people uh, eat something and take two bites and forget about it and go on socializing, and then there's somebody across the room who's sitting and thinking, hey, hey, your, your dessert, come on, finish it. <laughs> you know, and I was one of those people. Once I put it in my body, the, uh, in addition to the, the emotional and spiritual problems, deficits that I think I had, mm -hmm. I also had a physical problem where once I put these substances into my body, I was uh, far more likely to uh, uh, overeat more that day and then wake up the next day thinking, uh, not thinking, reacting, mm -hmm. and, and deciding that I was going to eat some more. Now, uh, some people might ask you, did you have uh, an operation to get thin? What did you actually do to overcome this? I, I didn't. I didn't. I like to say that I, uh, I'm maintaining a 155-pound weight loss for 20 years, mm -hmm. and I didn't go on a diet, and I didn't have surgery. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, accurate, but it's not really true, because obviously I had to change the way I ate. But the way we think of diets, are, they're a temporary solution to a long-term problem, and mm -hmm. that makes no sense. But I... Uh, uh, I changed the way I ate in a long-term way. I wasn't trying to uh, get into a bathing suit by spring mm -hmm. or something like that. I was trying to change the way I live. And uh, um, led by other people, I like to make that clear, the second line of the book is, I am not a guru. Mm -hmm. I'm not an expert. I am not a physiologist. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm none of those things. Mm -hmm. I'm somebody who was really struggling with life. I, I, I didn't have my first girlfriend until I was 36, and that was three years after rehab. Mm -hmm. uh, I really wasn't participating uh, very well in life at all. Mm -hmm. And then dragged kicking and screaming by professionals like nutritionists and, uh, and my therapist, especially Bob Deutsch of West Hartford, Connecticut, mm -hmm. who I always like to say because he really, really helped change my life, and some of the people in rehab. And, uh, uh, and then a lot of people who would just further down the same road that I'm on now, who had already had experiences and they shared them with me and said, well, why don't you try this? And I went kicking and screaming. I didn't want to hear about any of it. But uh, I, w I saw that these people were getting better and I wasn't. Mm -hmm. And so I started doing some of the things uh, that they were doing and I started getting better. And so people shared their experiences with me and I got better. I'm doing the same thing now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sharing what happened with me, hoping that it could help other people. And that's why I wrote the book. I believe that uh, uh, my experiences, not the things I devised, mm -hmm. not because I'm so clever, uh, but the things that I went through 
can help an awful lot of people uh, uh, who don't understand that it's not just that they're, it, it's not that they're weak and lazy. It, it, it's not that they're bad people. It's that they're uh, subject to forces that, that uh, haven't been identified on them, so they're not even trying to fix them. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you said about, about helping people, and uh, we talked downstairs, there was a big conference recently that someone else put together with people that are having problems with obesity, and they contacted you. You actually uh, know the guy that ran it, and he told you that some of the people already had your book. I was shocked. This was uh, probably a group of 10 to 15 people who went for a five-day, they call it, I think he called it an intensive, mm -hmm. where you, 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 it's kind of like rehab, but instead of weeks and weeks, and instead of supported by insurance, uh, it just you go away for a few days and you get and you uh, uh, share with people about what's going on for you, and 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 other people begin to get a better mm -hmm. perspective and then get some guidance. Uh, anyway, the ten to fifteen people in Wayzata, Minnesota, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and he said a couple people had my book. That's and amazing. I, I'm just. I can't tell you how that makes me feel. Even just telling you downstairs, I was getting yeah. goosebumps. It, it's, it's almost like with the show. You know, we we actually don't know who watches the show. I myself think that we make the show every week, and just a few members of my family watch. But there are other people out there that see it, and when they send you a comment, you feel like, wow, this is actually getting out there. So congratulations on that. Thank Before you. we go, let's tell everyone where they can get this book. Uh, thank you. Uh, the, the easiest way is to go to uh, fatboythinman.com, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a buy button right on the front page. Okay. You know, there are other things there. There's video, there's audio, and uh, there's a link to my blog, which is michaelprager.com. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, uh, there are a lot. There's a few bookstores in the Boston area, but mostly it's available on the net. It's also available at Amazon. Right. But and I you, make more money if you go to Fat Boy Thin Man. <laughs> Fat Boy Thin Man. And, but before we go, there is something different here that you told me downstairs about people if they want to get your book online, they can't afford it. And what is that? Uh, there is a one of the tabs on the Fat Boy Thin Man website is uh, download. And although you have to leave, uh, you have to sign, you know, uh, register for the website, uh, and I can send you emails every once in a while. I haven't sent out a single one yet. I, yeah. I'm, I'm not good at that part of it. But uh, uh, they can download the entire book for free because I care more about getting the ideas out there to help people than I do about getting the money back that my family invested. Mm -hmm. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the book, Fat Boy, Thin Man, Michael Prager. We'll be right back right after this. Thanks, Thanks very much. Awesome. <laughs>